Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason Carr and I am Old Car Auto Guy. Not send it Steve. Give me one second and I'm going to change my shirt. And there we go, got the Old Car Auto Guy shirt on. You can get one of your very own by contacting me or by the first link in the description box below. Guys, today's reviews day is on this 2012 Nissan Versa. <laughs> So before we go too far, I just want to let you guys in on a little secret. In case you haven't heard yet, the $1,000 cash giveaway is on now. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, be a subscriber to Old Car Auto Guy, share with your friends. The goal is, is for the channel to reach 1,000 subscribers by January 31st, and if we do, one of you is going to win $1,000. Now, let's get on to our review. So this review on the Nissan Versa is going to be twofold today. We are going to give you a brief rundown on this vehicle and the gas lights on and we're really close to empty. So we are going to do another how far can you go when the distance to empty says zero. So let's get into the overview. And there you have it guys, that's the brief overview of this 2012 Nissan Versa. It's got a few extra features on it which we'll take a look here in a minute. But one thing that I did want to point out to you, and you probably noticed it in the under the hood shot, is the amount of undercoating that's on this vehicle. Let's take a look. So you can see very clearly that the underside of this hood is quite greasy. And as we follow it down, inside the inner fenders and the rad support and all that stuff, We've wiped it down a little bit simply because we had to work on it. But rest assured, this vehicle is undercoated and it is ready to go. At $6,500, it is financeable. We do have a 90 day, 3,000 kilometer warranty and it only has 131,000 kilometers. So we are going to jump right into the interior and the test drive and get right down to finding out how many kilometers this thing has to empty. So before we get inside and take a look, we're going to take a quick walk around the car and show you a few minor blemishes on this vehicle. Uh, you got to remember, it's almost seven years old, got 131,000 kilometers on it. So right off the gate, we're going to see a few rock chips on the front bumper. There is a small little door dent right there below the gas cap. And again, from hauling things in and out of the trunk, there are a few scratches there. However, right here, it looks as though somebody's bumped something at one point in time. We will touch that up so it does not look as bad as it does. Come along to the around the corner here, and you got a few little scrape marks. Again, we'll touch those up. The 185-65-15 Firestone FR710 tires are like new. They're not full tread, but pretty close. And don't forget, every vehicle purchased in the month of November gets four free winter tires installed. So as you can see, the steering wheel comes fully equipped with all your Bluetooth, radio, and cruise control functions. And it's also got intermittent wipers, power windows, locks, and the remote is built right onto the key for lock and unlock your door. Into the center stack, we have AM, FM radio with CD player and iPod capabilities. And we come down to the middle here and we do have air conditioning in this car. It is an automatic transmission. And again, like most vehicles today, plenty of storage 
a huge glove box, map pockets with cup holders. We've got cup holders for the rear passenger as well as for the front. No vanity mirror here for the driver, but the passenger does. So for a subcompact car, this thing is a small car. It is smaller than a Chevy Cruze, smaller than the Sentra, so it's kind of the, uh, it used to be the entry level for the Nissan brand, but now Nissan has the Micra. So this is kind of the second in line as far as size goes. And, you know, being as tall as I am, I've got plenty of headroom. The seats aren't that bad. I do find them a little bit flat, uh, but it does have height control uh, adjustment on the side so I can raise and lower the seat uh, to get myself in a comfy position. So it does have a tilt wheel, but it does not telescope. The gauge cluster is nicely laid out and uh, you'll see there that the uh, fuel gauge is flashing and we will scroll up to the mileage which says 131 303 so i'm going to switch over to the gopro and we will take this for a little test drive and see what kind of mileage we're going to get out of the distance to empty so the very first thing that we've got to do is we do got to go put a splash of gas in this thing to get a base reading because right now it's not telling me anything so we're going to go put maybe five dollars in it see how much it uh, shows us uh, distance to empty so we can get back to zero and then we've got to fill the gas jug up so when we do run out of fuel we've got some to get us home. So while we're heading to the gas station we are going to test out the cruise control to make sure that the cruise works. And of course it does, no worries there and we'll bump up the acceleration and the accel worked as well as the cancel button. Check the volume control buttons on the radio Preparations are underway for the annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade in New York. And they work just fine from the steering wheel anyways. They are new this year, including... As well as the radio itself. So it's time for a splash of gas. We'll find an empty pump here, and uh, we'll get a few bucks. Okay, let's hit the road. So I put $5 in this thing, and it told me now that I've got 59 kilometers to empty, and I haven't hit the highway yet, because of course that will readjust based on your speed. So it looks like we've got a little bit of a drive ahead of us before we can find out uh, what the actual distance is. So guys, unfortunately all good plans must come to an end, simply because some things take priority over YouTube, Sorry about that, guys. Just got a phone call. I've got to head back to town while we're on our little drive here. So we will continue this distance to empty in the next video. So stay tuned. In the meantime, we're going to continue on this little drive. We are right now at about 110 kilometers an hour. That's about almost 70 miles an hour. And I mean, hands off the wheel, this thing drives straight as an arrow. Uh, there's no shakes, no shimmies, no squeaks, no rattles. Uh, it really is a good little car, 131,000 kilometers on it. It didn't get a whole lot of driving in the last six or seven years. Anyways, we are going to take the next exit here and head back to the shop and uh, close out this video and uh, we will see you in just a few minutes. So guys, there is my review on this little 2012 Nissan Versa. It's only got 131,000 kilometers. We're going to give you four free snow tires, 90 day warranty and service after the sale as well it's only 6500 bucks how can you go wrong it's the cheapest nissan versa around also if you want your very own old car auto guy t-shirt link is in the first description down below also hoodies are available in many different colors one more time if you're not subscribed you're gonna want to think about it now because i'm giving away a thousand dollars to one of my lucky subscribers if we reach 1000 1000 subscribers by january 31st so guys, please keep doing what you do. Watch my videos. Hit the like button if you like it. Comment in the comment section below. I love interacting with you guys. Also, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you. God bless. We'll see you in the next upload.